Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a cancer love prediction reading for July 4th through July 10th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy or your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled and grateful if you give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my wonderful, kind, sweet, empathetic, loving, emotional cancers. Show me, spirit guys, what's going on with my cancers? What's going on with my loving, loyal Sweet, kind cancers. Let's see. Show me, spirit guides. What you got going on, cancer? Seven of pentacles. Eight of wands. Seven of swords. Six of swords. And the Ace of Pentacles. Well, the Seven of Pentacles is all about growth. It's all about having, um, it's all about growth, all about um, growing. Something has happened in your love space that um, you have grown from. It's almost like you've outgrown a person. And I'm going to be very honest. It's almost like you've outgrown this person. And you've told this person that you've outgrown them because here's this Eight of Wands next to that seven of pentacles there's someone in your love space that's been in your love space for quite some time but you have grown apart from this person you guys have grown apart you've outgrown them they are no longer they don't think like you think anymore you don't have the same morals you don't have the same goals you guys have grown apart here you're grown apart here and not only that in the middle of your reading this person has not been faithful to you but you've been with them for quite some time but they have not been faithful to you because you have this seven of swords and that is infidelity that is betrayal they have betrayed you they betrayed you but you know what i'm going to say this and this is just what i see this is not the first time this is not the first time and you have grown apart from them now you finally grown apart from them and this is spirited debate going on between you and them now with this eight of wands because you're letting them know um i'm no longer you can't hurt me anymore um, you can't do these things to me anymore because I have grown away from you. I have basically grown up. Perhaps this was somebody that you knew when you were very young, but you have grown away from them. You have, you're no longer in their energy. Their energy has, has, has been, um, you have released their energy because the seven of swords is here because this is the betrayal that they've given you. They have betrayed you immensely. This is not the first time. And I'll say it again. This is not the first time. You finally have grown. You finally have grown up. And now here you have the four of swords. And the four of swords means that this is a breakup for sure. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. The six of swords. I do apologize. The six of swords. And the six of swords, either way it goes, means that you're moving away to peace. See this lady? She has this, looks like Cruella de Vil. But she has her hands up. She's like, I'm not, I'm, I'm moving away from this mess. You want peace? You don't even want to be bothered with them anymore. And you are fine with it. That's what's more imp most important. Your feelings and your, you are in control. You are fine with leaving them alone. You're fine with moving to a next level. And what's interesting is once you do that, you'll have the Ace of Pentacles, which means it's abundance. There's abundance that's waiting for you, but you can't get it because you've been dwelling so much on this person in the past that has truly not had your best interest at heart. Because all they thought about is being out there with other people, not caring about you, not loving on you like you were loving on them. You were nurturing them. They were, you know, just not caring, giving you behind, giving you their behind to, to you know what I'm saying, just, you know, to kiss. I mean, they just weren't into your, into your mode. And, you know, somehow I think that they just thought you were going to be there regardless. I do feel that because you have debates with them, but this is not the first time you've had a spirit to debate about what they've done. And the seven of swords is in the middle of your reading. That's why I said this is not the first time. This is the last time, but it's not the first time. It's not the first time. But here, let me, if this is your reading, please 
sit back, give me three to five minutes and let me clarify this reading because I want to see if you're going to stay away from them or if they're going to come back around or what's going to happen. So if this is your reading, just sit back, relax and let me clarify the reading for you. Why is the seven of pentacles here or the seven of coins? Why is the seven of coins here for my cancer? Show me spirit guys. Why is the seven of coins here for cancer? Show me spirit guys. Ah, uh, you have ten of pentacles. The ten of pentacles. You um, uh, you thought this was gonna be joy. Well, actually, the ten of pentacles is a card of having everything together. And I, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I do believe you've got it, gotten it together now with this um seven of pentacles here. But this ten of pentacles is having everything together. Um, being able to um. Just have everything together. Um, when I say everything together, family life, all everything is flowing. Everything is flowing now. Everything that you have wanted, that you have needed, that you have asked the universe for is, is the Ten of Pentacles. And it's family as well. And I think that with this um, person that you've been with, I think they've been ingrained with, in your family for quite some time. But... Like I said, it's time to move to the next level because you've gotten everything. You know, everything is all flowing, but they're not for you. You have grown from them. So no matter, no matter what they offer you now, you're not willing to take it and you, won't, you don't want to be with them anymore because you've grown apart. You've grown apart, but I do believe at one time with that Ten of Pentacles there or even to right now, I mean, everything was good. All was good, except... They betray you. So let's see why the Eight of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Show me spirit, guys. I've got the Two of Wands. Yeah, that means this Two of Wands says, I'm starting over without you. Because the Eight of Wands here is just having spirited conversation. You're letting them know, yes, everything was all good. We were all in the safe space, ready to move to the next level. But guess what? I've grown apart. We've grown apart. It's no more faking it, okay? You've grown apart. And here you have the Seven of Swords. Let's see. Because that Two of Wands says you're going to begin to make actionable steps to move in the right direction for you. Not for them, not for family, but for you, for your happiness. So let's see why the Seven of Swords is here. Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, and Seven of Cups. A lot of different options, right? Look at that. That seven of swords and that seven of cups is betrayal. It means they did they. I, I told you this person was a, a a consummate cheater. They cheated all the time. Yeah, everything was good. You know, when, when I say family life was good, you they were checking on all cylinders. But guess what? They cheated. They didn't respect you. They didn't respect just you. They had a lot of different options and a lot of betrayal that was going on. And you knew that. You knew that cancer. You knew that. So let's see, hmm, why is the seven of swords, um, excuse me, the six of swords here? Show me why the six of swords is here for my cancers. Ah, uh, you've got that two of pentacles. See, didn't I tell you, cancer, because you've been with this person, because everything is all good on all the other levels except for this cheating level, you still are going through emotions. You're still juggling your emotions, you know. Should I stay, should I, should I leave or should I stay and still try to work it out? Um, should I leave or should I still stay and try to work it out? I love them, but I really don't love them. Those are the type of things that are going through your mind now. But with that six of swords there, I see you moving on. I see you moving on to peace. So let's see why the ace of coins is here. Why is this ace of coins here? Or ace of pentacles? Well, I've got that two of swords. Look at those two twos there together. Yes, Cancer, yes, you are trying to move on, but I don't know, because that two of swords is a stalemate. That two of swords means <sighs> you want to leave, but you, but you, I don't know if you have the energy or the courage to leave. I don't know if you're, you're stuck. You're just stuck right now. But if you do leave there, because also here with this Ace of Coins, and I do believe that if you leave, it'll be more abundance. But right now, you have abundance with them as well, I think. I think that they do provide money and they provide um, provide things for you that you know by yourself is going to take a minute for you to get or be able to ever get again. 
So let's see. You have the seven of coins at the very beginning of your reading. With the seven of pentacles, there's growth here. But here's the ten of pentacles. You have everything that you need and everything that you want with this person. They give everything to you, but there is growth here. And I'm going to tell you why you're growing. You're growing apart because you have the eight of wands here. And the eight of wands is spirited conversation. It is spirited conversation because you're telling them that here with this two of wands, that I want to build a life for me. I have taken care of you. I've taken care of everybody else. I want this for me. And the reason I do, because I'm grown apart from you, because we have the seven of swords in the middle of your reading. They have cheated many times. And you also have the seven of cups. They have many options. They have many options. You're not the only option. They have many options. And you've grown apart. You know what you want now. Seven of swords is all about betrayal. They have betrayed you many times. Times that you don't even know about, but the times that you do know about, yes, they have betrayed you. And here you have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is moving to peace, moving away from um, mess. And this is all this has been is just mess. Yeah, it's good to be able to have money, somebody to take care of you. But you know, you're, you're, you're struggling with your decision to leave. You Should I stay? Should I go with that Two of Pentacles? I love them. I love them not. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles here. And the reason why it's difficult because you will have abundance if you leave with leave, but not like the abundance you had when you were with them. They do bring abundance. They do bring um abundance to the table, both monetarily. They they have it. They have it. And you, you with you guys together build abundance. And then you have the two of swords there. And this just means that oh cancer, you're at a stalemate. You're not quite sure what to do. You've grown apart, but should you leave or should you should you stay? You're not quite sure what to do. Let me see what my African queen goddesses have to say to you. Because you're stuck. You're stuck because they do provide that monetarily value for you. You're stuck. Sometimes it's easier just to... It's, sometimes they say it's better to know the, uh, the devil that you know. And you know they cheat on you. You do. You know that. You know they always cheat. Are you going to stay with them or are you going to move on? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what my, angel, my um, African queen goddesses have to say to you. Let's see. Well, I have Queen Nundi. Queen Nundi says truth. It's all about you. You have to figure out. It's all about the truth. You know the truth. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to stay with them because you've definitely gone apart from them? Are you just going to have one of those relationships where you're going to turn the other way? What are you going to do? Because you know the truth. You know this. It's in the middle of your reading. They, they have other options. But yeah, they still take care of you. They still give you money. They still make sure you're taken care of. But you're at a stalemate. You're not quite sure what to do. You're not quite sure what to do. That's what I have for you. I don't know what you're going to do, but that's what I have for you. I think it's just stuck right now. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Cancer.